Hey, and welcome to another Thrivecart video from Get Thrivecart. This video, we're gonna talk about A-B split testing your checkout pages to increase your conversions even more with Thrivecart. Now, this is a super unique feature. It's probably overlooked by most of us, so I'm gonna dig into the loads of different things you can test and the things that you could do all automatically with just a few clicks with stuff that you probably already have created inside of Thrivecart. And if you don't have Thrivecart, this is probably a good little walkthrough to show you what's possible, just one of the cool features. So let's get into it right now. Okay, so when you are inside of your Thrivecart account, if you just go to the main screen, the main dashboard, this is a little dummy account of ours. If you scroll down, you're gonna have your list of products. Now you probably have noticed it, but maybe, I'm gonna bet that you've never actually tried the A-B testing, just because it's one of those features that's a little, it's not really talked about. Uh, it's kind of you know hidden over here in this little tab. Um, if you click it, obviously we're gonna have to create one. That's why we're making this video right now. So A-B tests, they're super, super, super powerful with any kind of marketing. Um, it's pretty apparent, you know, if you test different elements and things, there's an opportunity for you to increase your conversions. So that's what we're gonna do with our checkout pages. And we're gonna give you a whole bunch of different elements that you can convert, or sorry, test and see which converts the best. So very first step, once you're inside of Thrivecart, you're gonna have to have a product created, of course, and um, you know, and a checkout page and all that stuff. So we're gonna pick this one. So the very first thing you have to do is duplicate that product and that whole kind of set of things there with this little duplicate button on the top right. Click that, clone the product, and then you're gonna see it uh, pop up on the top of your list right there. The other one now kind of moved to the second page, you could see. So if we go over here, we're gonna to go to edit. And I just wanna make sure that this product name matches the previous one. So I'm gonna delete that copy two. And for this label, I'm actually going to say, uh, I'm just gonna type in split test. Oops, I'm gonna delete all that and just type in split test. Just for this example, that's uh, just for us to see. I'm not gonna change anything else. I'm gonna go, um, well, I'm just gonna do this really quick basically save, get URL, and you're gonna see the page that we're gonna start with. And I wanna, just for this example, we're going to show you how you can tweak just one element. And that's really what we recommend to do is not tweak an entire page all at once, you know, like five to 10 elements. But if you just test one thing against your previous uh, page, that's really the best practice. So you can actually understand what's working and what's not. And I'll show you an example. So. This is the page we are going to start with. So you can see, uh, you know, we have a logo on top. We have that the tall checkout design. We have the box shot. We have some bullet points and testimonials on the bottom with a green button. So the cool thing is inside of Thrivecart, pretty much anything that you create. So you know, the design of the checkout page. It could be your payment options, or it could be. Um, you know, it could be the button color or testimonials being taken off or countdown timers or uh, just payment methods. You know, maybe there's a PayPal option, maybe there's no PayPal option, uh, just to see how effective those are. All of those things are elements that you can test inside of this A-B test, which is super cool. So let's just, for this example, let's just do a an A-B test against one without a, um, without a logo on top. So it's just the checkout page itself. So what we would do, I'm just gonna close this one out go back to my products. And this is my cloned product. So I'm going to go into the edit option. And I want to check uh, or sorry, I want to uh, basically change that checkout page right there that design, you can see it's the tall one step. Let's go to customize. And for that cart header, I just want to remove this, uh, this image right there, just hit delete, save, I want to go down, hit save and get URL. And then when we load this up, we're gonna be able to just preview this. Now you can see it's just text on top. That logo is gone, so it's the name of the product. And what we wanna do now is go back to the front. So back to the dashboard at Thrivecart. And what we wanna do is create that A-B test. Now this is where it gets fun. So we wanna click uh, the blue button right here on the bottom. You could read this, it just describes pretty much what I'm telling you right now. So let's click get started. 
Okay, so we're very first going to select the initial original product, uh, the one that we had originally that we want to compare to. So we're going to click that, click next, just one product at a time. And now this is going to be the second product. This is that duplicated one I showed you. Click that, click next. Now let's just give this one a name. We'll just say, uh, just we'll just call it split test for now. Keep it super generic. And you have some options for the goal of your split test. So obviously it can have highest income. So depending on, um, you know, if you have upsells, bump offers and all that stuff, basically Thrivecart will analyze the two checkout pages and, you know, throughout the split test, see which one made you the most amount of money. And then after a period of time, whenever you say that test is going to end, it will then switch your, uh, your checkout page to default to the one that made you the most money. And that's across the entire funnel. So with your bump offers, down sales, up sales, all that fun stuff. Uh, then the second option is highest conversion. So that's pretty straightforward. You know, it's how many people are actually going to convert into a sale using that checkout page. It'll compare the two. And then the last one is lowest cart abandonment. So that's really cool when, you know, most of the people that land on a cart do abandon anyway. And Thrivecart has a ton of features to make sure that you get those people back and can sell them. So you can select that if that's kind of an issue that you see on your pages with all of your tracking. Now for this one, I'm just going to go for highest cart conversion. That's kind of a common one. Highest income is obviously very important. So depending on if you have upsells and all that stuff, you might want to select this top one. So I'm going to go here. And when should, this, uh, should the test end? You can basically select a date of your choosing. And keep in mind when you select this date, you want to keep in mind that that you want to have enough traffic going through your pages before this test ends because you don't want to have just run, you know, 10 people or 20 people through your checkout page. It doesn't really necessarily give you the best data. So, uh, shoot for a higher number, you know, higher the better obviously, but you don't want to go so long where, you know, you're going to wait months and months until your test ends. So, I'm just going to give this one 2 weeks from the date here. And right here, this is basically going to be the name of your split test URL that you want to paste on your page. So on your buy buttons, on sales pages, on your blog, wherever you're going to put a, an option for people to go visit your checkout page. So I'm just going to call it split, oops, split test. And we're going to click AB test. And there is the URL. So if we copy this, and I'm going to put this in an incognito window and just show it here. This is going to be the actual split test. So you can see the first one is uh, this one without the logo. And you can see that was there on top. So basically from now on, I would just take this, uh, sorry, this URL, put it in the buy button. And then, you know, two weeks from now, that test would end. And then it would actually give me some cool stats right down inside of this box. So again, you just go there from the dashboard click to the AB test tab. And then right here, you can see which, uh, which products are being kind of competing against each other. And you can view, you can actually go in here and edit and see any conversions and metrics, uh, basically during the entire duration of this test. So it's really cool. Um, you can see just from that one view, you know, we had an impression, 100% of people had banned in the cart, obviously, because that's what I just did. Uh, but you'll see this will split back and forth. So over time, you're going to see more traffic populate. And then when the test ends, it's going to default to the winner. And then, you know, if you don't run this test again or anything, this URL will still work. So you don't have to like constantly be changing URLs to your buy buttons and all that stuff over, you know, all your website that just gets annoying. So, um, that's pretty much it. It's super, super simple. This video could go on forever because, you know, we can really break down all of these different elements. Again, it's really, you could test anything that Thrivecart allows you to tweak inside of your product, you know, inside of, um, nope, I selected the wrong one. I want to select here really quick. Um, oh, actually, <laughs> see, it gives you a little warning uh, that there's an actively uh, active AB test happening. So, you know, they basically strongly uh, recommend not changing anything. Obviously, we're just doing this for an example. But um, the most obvious ways to uh, test are the actual checkout design. And keep in mind, there's a million elements inside of each one. But there's also the styles, the different things like that. There's 
Um, you know, all these elements that you see here, there's bump offers even as well and upsells, you know, if you're testing across the whole funnel, you can get really creative. So I really, I urge you to, you know, just to test this, maybe at a small level as a first step and see what, what comes of it. I think you'll be uh, pleasantly surprised because if you're not testing, you're not really growing effectively. So you should always be testing something inside of your funnel. And you know, from all of our experience and the stats that you find online, most people drop off at that checkout page. So uh, if you can refine your checkout page and capture more sales, then hey, you're gonna make more money, have more profits, and you'll be, uh, you'll be happier. <laughs> so that's about it for now. If you need uh, to get Thrivecart into your life, so if you don't have Thrivecart yet, um, I don't know what you're waiting for, but head on over to getthrivecart.com. You're gonna find a whole load of other videos and things that you can uh, basically basically, you know, just go through all the content and figure out all these things that Thrivecart does. It's amazing. We have a bonus package over there and we'll always give you the best price. So head on over there to getthrivecart.com. This was Joe Fear. Thanks for watching. We'll be back later with another video.